I thought I'd do a what's the verdict on the interior of a guy's car versus the interior of a girl's car. I won't use my own car because that could be biased and I could have cleaned my car up before. My sister just got home and my dad has been home as well. So they haven't cleaned the car up or anything. This car over here, it's a red Suzuki Alto. My mum and sister share that car. This car here, you wouldn't know it, but it's a guy's car, it's a Prius. Um, but I promise you, my dad drives that one. So yeah, we'll start with the um, the red Suzuki Alto. Um, I've actually changed my mind. I kind of want to start with the, uh, the Prius. So this is the driver's side door of the Prius. First impressions. Open the door, that's what that's called. It's a bit dirty down here. There's not much inside. So let's get in. What do we have? There's nothing where my feet go except for dirt. Remote control. Nothing in the cup holders. iPod cable. Another iPod cable and an iPod. Don't even know what these ones are called anymore. Nothing in the footwell of the passenger seat. Nothing in the passenger chair. Shaping up to be pretty good. Let's check the back. Alrighty, so this is the rear passenger side door of Dad's car. There's nothing in there, just uh, crumbs. There's a, nothing in there either except for crumbs and this little bit of tape. There's nothing in there. This one doesn't have one of those. Cup holder. Alrighty, let's move to the boot. So this is Dad's boot. Let's see what's in here. Boot mat thing, high vis vest. Dad visit wa visits warehouses and stuff. That's a bag. A collapsible shopping basket thing. Well done, Dad. Your car is pretty clean. Don't know why there's so many crumbs. Ooh. Now that that's Dad's car done, we will move on to Mum's car and see how. I don't know if you saw the previous video, but it was um, comparing my bathroom with Kirsten's side of the bathroom and. Um, Hers is usually a bit messy, and she's just driven this car, so just a warning. We have a receipt. Leaves. Uh, nothing in there. Okay, I'm gonna get in the car. Garage remote. USB. Pen. Receipt. Pen lid. Jeans West thing. Glasses. With glasses case. Glasses case. And glasses. Pen. 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 Alrighty, so let's go to the passenger side. This is the 50th gate. So my sister is in second year uni and she did this book when she was in year 12. So that's been sitting here. We haven't even had this car for that long. I don't know how we even got Receipt, wallet, sandwich bag, leaves, crumbs. Alrighty, won't check the glove box because I don't want to. Let's check the back. Alrighty, so this is the, uh, the rear passenger door, and let's have a look inside. A towel. Kleenex. Knife. Hmm. Blue pants. Green pants. A black sock. A blue sock. A receipt. A bag. We have a bag which appears to be empty. A shoe. There is a shoe which doesn't have a matching shoe anywhere. Chocolate wrapper. What's this? Ooh, toilet paper, yuck. Um, alright. Let's check the boot. So, uh, props to Mum and Kirsten. There doesn't seem to be much in the boot. What's this? That is... an onion skin. Ah! An onion. That's it. In the boot there is an onion. Okay, so... What's the verdict? A, the interior of a guy's car or the interior of a girl's car? My verdict is I would prefer a guy's car, but I am a guy, so that opinion is probably biased. I think the fact that you could have started an office works with kind of just the front of mum's car, that, um, that concerns me. Well done, Dad.